um, what were you looking at? Lucy, what are you doing here? Well, I, um, I, I just really missed you. I was going to call. I... Oh, right, but I, I guess you probably didn't want to tie up the line. What? In case Monica called. Ha has she called? No. Well, I don't think you should worry about it. I'm sure the divorce went through. I, um, brought, I brought you a, a little present. Oh, Lucy, that's so sweet. You didn't have to do that. Well, yes, I did. You're always giving me gifts, so I thought I would, I would give you one. Cufflinks. Yes, look. Look how they're engraved. E-L-Q-C-E-O. They're lovely. Thank you very much. Thank mm. you. Sweet. I'm glad you like them. You know, they um, kind of remind me of us. Cufflinks? Mm-hmm. They're a pair, a team. Oh. Kind of like your mother and your father. You know, I think your father attained such great heights because he had such a supportive woman behind him. That he did. And, Alan, I hope you realize that you are going to reach heights you never even dreamed about with me beside you. I certainly hope so. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking a lot about us, and one thing I'm concerned about, I mm. think that you and I should socialize more. How am I going to do that? I've got a job at ELQ and the hospital. I haven't got time, Lucy. Well, it's time that you mix business with pleasure. And what better way to make contacts than have a big, huge ball? A ball? Mm -hmm. You've got that gorgeous ballroom up on the third floor. Ellen and I would love to throw a ball. Come on, what do you say? Lucy, No, I'm I... serious. Picture the two of us, handsome young couple at the top of that grand staircase and all the creme de la creme of Port Charles waiting for us. And Monica comes rushing in, screaming, Lucy, get out of my house. Sorry, Tracy, that won't happen because it won't be her house anymore. It'll be our house. <laughs> Sorry, Ellen, I guess you didn't tell her. Tell me what? The house belongs to Monica. Well, you mean that Monica is asking for it in the settlement, right? No, I mean it's hers. I gave it to her years ago. <laughs> Even then, he was doing stupid things in the name of passion. Remember the house you bought Susan Moore? <laughs> Enough, Tracy. Oh, I wonder if that house is available. Cost, of course, it's, it's not as big as Monica's dressing room, but I'm sure... Well, that no, you... that's fine. It, it'll be fine because as long as we're together, that's all that matters. Isn't that special? I'd like to record that for posterity or your divorce, whichever comes first. Lucy, would you like to go for a drive and then to dinner? Yes, Alan, I would love that. Thank you for asking. I'll get our coach. Okay. I am sorry about the house, Lucy, but I know you'll be dropping by a lot. Really? Mm-hmm. To bring me information on Alan and ELQ. I will not be dropping by, Tracy. I will be living here. You will be living in a haystack where you came from if I tell Alan about the pictures you set him up with. Hmm? Lucy, are you coming? I'll be right there, darling. I will be back, Tracy. And for good. Messages. Hi. You can't get away from ELQ even down here, can you? What? Business? Yeah. Is it anything serious? No, nothing I can't handle. Well, why don't we all go down for dinner and relax? I'd love huh? to, Dawn, but I've really got a lot to catch up with her. Thanks to me. Not at all. Dawn and I are here because we care about you. Well, I am a big girl, you know. And big girls don't need their daughters? <laughs> No, I always need my daughter. I really do appreciate you coming down. If you need anything. I know, I know. You'd be here for me. I don't know what I would have done having you here. Mm, I'd do anything for you, Monica. Mm -hmm. 